the fifth time's a charm, but you know, it's been 20 years I've been trying to make an Olympic team. So it's, you know, it's pretty rewarding just to feel that like I finally met, met my last goal in judo was to make the Olympic team. And I was always really, really close to making the team. And things always happen. Like, and yeah, I just, Sometimes I wasn't good enough, sometimes I got hurt, sometimes there were just, you know, political complications. Nina Kutro Kelly is making history. So um, I suspected that I might be the oldest person, the uh, oldest American to ever make a judo Olympic team. Um, but we actually had to like calculate it down to the day because a woman in 2004, she was like 20 days younger than me when she fought in the Olympics. So people have gotten close, but I'm officially the oldest uh, American that ever fought in the Olympics for judo. It's a sport that came natural to Nina as a child who needed this competitive outlet. So I actually was uh, seven years old in Albany, New York, and um, I got kicked out of ballet, art class, and I think t-ball um, from the age of four up until that point. And finally, my father was like, you know what, maybe Jito, like she won't get in trouble for being a little too rough. And being, you know, a little maniac. And so he took me to his club and I started doing judo there. And I did it recreationally, you know, just once a week with my dad. Then when I was 14, I went to a local tournament and um, I lost to a girl who was a lot like smaller than me, um, who happened to be coached by my current coach, Jim Herbeck, who runs Universal Judo. So uh, he ended up uh, being like, oh, hey, like he asked me a few questions about myself and I found out where the club was. And so that's when I changed clubs uh, in Albany, New York. And then that club moved down here uh, to San Antonio in 2006. And so since then, um, I fought in France, like I trained in France for about eight years, but uh, my home base has been San Antonio since 2006. <laughs> 20 years of training and patience. So surely Nina was not going to let the pandemic stop her training. When COVID first started, um, the places I was working at, my gym shut down and so did um, my uh, judo club. And I'm fortunate enough that I have a roommate that does uh, judo with me and I had some mats in my garage. And so we just, I started changing up my training. I was running, I was lifting at home in my garage. I was doing judo in my garage. And then I actually started doing, you know, more as the gym started to reopen, I started doing, you know, private lessons here at Echo fitness um, and that was really awesome and also what was really cool was that um, I was able to like share a sport that I really loved with people that were happy to learn it. With that mindset and determination it's no wonder she's headed to Japan and training is non-stop. We are training with no no AC at this point um, at my home club uh, in Universal and uh, the idea is that it's going to be pretty hot and muggy in Japan and they don't air condition the way we do. And so we really need to be prepared for it to be hot and muggy, which is not the worst. It could be really cold, which would be worse for me, um, but we definitely have to be prepared for, you know, heat and humidity. The weather is one factor to consider, but Nina's weight class brings other challenges. Judo has seven weight classes for women and seven for men. Uh, the unique part of my weight class is that it's unlimited. So the weight class under me stops at 170 two pounds. The weight class under that stops at 154 pounds. Mine is over 172 pounds unlimited. And so, you know, I might weigh 210 pounds or something like that, but I could fight a girl who weighs 410 pounds and this has happened. Okay. So it becomes a very different um, game strategically and technically because, you know, you're half the size of somebody at some point. Now it's time to put all that training to the test. A sport that lit a fire in Nina as a child is now something she gets to share with the world. I'm really like, grateful for the opportunity to you know, talk about judo and let the whole city know about judo because um, it's an it's a awesome sport. It's a, a great form of self-defense, getting in shape, and uh, it's you know made my whole life better. For Reze Live, I'm Jen Tobias.